Hey everybody, Retro Geek Dad here, back with a, another toy review. This time we're looking at the Marvel Legends Ursa Major Build-A-Figure line, Iron Man Modular Iron Man. That's a mouthful. Um, this particular Iron Man is from issue number 300 of the Iron Man comics done by Marvel, um, the original run. Uh... Iron Man was the first comic I really got into when I was a kid. Um, I picked up issue, I think it was 287 at an Ingalls when I was, you know, young. And uh, I really got into Iron Man with the robots and everything. Just It really spoke to me. Um, this particular Iron Man armor is from issue number 300. Um, take a quick look at the back. Uh, this picture here is actually the front cover of issue number 300. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this figure kind of means, you know, it means a lot to me because this was a time I was really into comics, you know, really getting going and everything. Um, Iron Man was one of my favorites. But um, I want to take a quick review of the package, open them up, review the figure, uh, kind of check it out and uh, go from there. Okay, so we're going to take a quick look at the package. Um, we have the modular Iron Man. He comes with a uh, extra set of hands. Uh, he's got his repulsor blasts here. Modular Iron Man, Hasbro. Uh, the side is the same picture that we have here on the back. It's uh, on both sides. Uh, like I said earlier, this was the this picture was on the front cover of issue 300. It was like silver embossed or foil embossed. It was really cool. But uh, gives a little description, you know, the armor here in different languages. Uh, this is from the Ursa Major Build-A-Figure line. Um, the other figures, you know, we have, uh, you know, the Modular Iron Man, the Vault Guardsman, the Stealth Armor, which is another one of my favorite armors. Um, we have Dark Star, turn it this way, Iron Heart, the Hologram Iron Man, and then Ultron. All the legal stuff and on the bottom there is the UPC code so we're going to uh, open him up do a quick review of the figure and uh, check it out okay so we're gonna go ahead and open him up so we have tape on the side down there we go so a little back insert here really cool picture of Iron Man on it all the circuitry cool little background and with the insert this is just like the legal warnings and stuff in different languages you know, don't put anything in your mouth you might choke on it kind of stuff <coughs> so um no rubber bands, nothing holding it in. We'll go ahead and take the repulsive blast out. We do have a piece of tape going across the hands here. Hold those in place. Excuse me. Look at Iron Man here in a second. Take a look at the repulsor blasts. So these are just your typical, they plug into his open hands. We've got the blast effects. And then uh, closed hands, fist hands. You have one for each hand. Right and left. Okay. Go ahead and take a look at Iron Man. So right off the bat, I'm noticing that the joints are really kind of tight. They, you know, lock, kind of lock into place almost. So I really like that. It's good for posing. Um, seeing the gap right here, I don't know if that's coming through. That's kind of irking me a little. I have a, just a solid piece, but it's all right. Really 
cool, nice and shiny. So let's take a look at articulation. So we've got, you know, the head is on a ball joint. We've got a joint right here in the chest. So we get that good flying action. The arms. So you can, you can hear the clicking. Where it clicks into place. So I really like that. So here we have double jointed elbows. Got wrist, it turns. There's the open hands are for the repulsor blast. I'll show those in a second. Rotation at the waist, the legs, they're on the ball joint. We have rotation here, double jointed knees, rotation there, the ankles, they're on rockers. They all click in the place. All the joints feel nice and solid. So I like the, I like how the joints, you know, just kind of lock in the place. I really like that. So look at the blast effects, the repulsor blast. Now they just uh, plug into those little holes, just like that. We have one for each hand. So they fit in there pretty tight, and they're not going to come out unless you want them to come out. Really cool. Really cool. I like that. But yeah, it being the Iron Man armor from that issue 300, um, let me change out the hands real quick. They just pop in and off. Um, as always, just you want to be careful because those little pegs, um, if you go to snatch them out, those will break, and then you'll be stuck with a, a broke hand. But uh, yeah, them including this modular armor from issue 300, it's really cool. It really, you know, it's kind of sentimental to me because um, I had done a drawing um, of that Iron Man armor, you know, when I was in school, and uh, it was a, it was a really good drawing. I'm not gonna lie, it was really good. Of course, I don't have it anymore, but you know, I'll, Iron Man was it meant a lot to me. Um, it was something I can kind of could have kind of escaped to, and uh, I really, you know, really liked it. But that's that's really cool. Yeah, that's that's definitely one of my favorite Iron Man figures. Really cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is the modular Iron Man from the Ursa Major Build-A-Figure Marvel Legends line. Um, I picked this one up. I uh, picked him up at Target. Uh, I think it was retail for $20. Um, there wasn't a lot of that line. Uh, this one just kind of was there. Um, I would like to get my hands on the stealth armor. Uh, that's a pretty cool armor. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll catch you again soon.